If you're wondering how to get Toji in AUT, if that's the case, then either the YouTube or TikTok algorithm has blessed you with this video. Because in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get Toji as well as guide you through the upcoming Sorcerer Killer boss fight. And by the way, I'm not gonna be stretching this out, I'm gonna make it as efficient and quick as possible. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you wanna do is come over to Shibuya, which you do by talking to the train station. I know it sounds kind of weird, but there isn't really no NPC here, so interact, take her to Shibuya. Once you're here, you want to take your mount or just walk to the nearest exit, which is to our left, and then move forward, and then you will see Toji right here. Unfortunately, he isn't spawned for me because he spawns every 45 minutes, but here's some footage of me fighting him because you will need to fight him as well to get Sorcerer Killer. To give you guys some context, to get Sorcerer Killer, you will need to get three Sorcerer Killer shards, which is dropped by the Sorcerer Killer, and then you'll have to get yourself the Remembrance of the Sorcerer Killer. Once you've gotten yourself three Sorcerer Killer shards as well as one Remembrance, that's when you can craft yourself Toji. Now, once you've gotten yourself Toji, OG, you will need to master you rank him up here is the order of master items that you will need to use on him so the first master rank item is going to be soul split katana which i actually got from a chest as editors note sorry for stopping the video but let me give you guys some good advice would i recommend you guys farming master items from regular chests no honestly it's a really bad idea based on my own experiences the chance of getting any master items even from bosses are pretty slim and from a chest that's really lucky now the only time i would actually excuse this is if you were to level an ability up let's say you have an itadori or king of curses and you need to level them up go to the jjk part of the map and then farm and you might even get a legendary master item just as a bonus from the chest so i can definitely see that being a viable option but me personally i would definitely farm the sorcery killer now a quick heads up toji's no joke he's one of the toughest bosses in the game so bringing in some friends to help might not be a bad idea but here's the good news if you want solo toji you're in the right place because i'm going to be showing you guys exactly how i personally beat him consistently so first things first let's talk about the best stand to use for him for me personally as ironic as it is gojo is hands down the best stand in this game his damage is insane his mode buildup is really fast and he got tons of iframes and super armor he also has his domain expansion which immobilizes the boss like that's pretty good and it's also why he becomes the perfect counter towards toji the reason why toji is so strong is because of his speed and when you can immobilize him or if you have too many iframes or super armor he can't really do much against you so try and use stands like gojo for example dawn or reaper or or egress are absolutely great Toji is still going to put up a good fight, but it's also going to make him easier. With all that being said, if you're still confused, don't worry. Let me show you guys how I personally beat him. Alright, so Toji just spawned, and uh, let me show you guys how I personally beat him. So, the first thing I like to do is use a blindfold on. I don't know why I took him off, but blindfold on, and then G just so we can get some decent mode. And then purple hollow straight away. We need as much damage as quick as possible because this guy likes to move a lot. So here we go, get that off. Activate domain expansion as quick as possible. We wanna isolate his movement so he doesn't move. We also don't want him to do any attacks in general because he's super quick. So boom, just do whatever moves that you have. Ideally, you could have used that blue in the beginning, which I'll try to use if I die. Uh, let's see, let's just get some mode on. I would just like to say this. Once the domain starts to crack, you'll hear it, but uh, don't try to attack him. Because we what we want to do is we want to get him off aggro, alright? And basically when the domain starts cracking, he gets off aggro. So right there, oh well, never mind. Never mind, I'll take that back. Hold on. Let me just run, let me just run. If you run, he will uh, de-aggro. Like that, that's proven. Well, we have to run an extent, so like here. Yep, there we go. Thank you. And now we can wait because essentially after domain expansion, you can't use any of your curse technique moves. So we're going to have to wait until they come off cooldown. So let's just spam G, take a uh, take, turn on your blindfold and then press G. Okay, we, we have it already. Wow. Okay. And another purple hollow. Boom. Nice. There we go. That's what, that's what, like 7,000 damage? I don't know. I actually don't know. I would assume that. Okay, another blue. The thing that I love with blue is that it has super armor, so you can just spam it. 
there we go a thousand damage plus something you could also use that as a wall i suppose so he doesn't move towards you just like there i could have gone swift stab so just wait for your uh cooldowns come off okay lovely that's just great okay i'm gonna be aggressive now yep as you guys can see he just he likes to be super agile and whenever he hits he hits like a truck like brother okay we have our domain expansion so we just want to get him off uh aggro oh that is very scary oh he hit me oh, i'm dead all right okay thank god that could have gone way worse okay so what we want to do now is take on our gl uh, glasses actually actually we could wait hold on let's just do this oh no man, no, man, no wait hold on can we do this boom and then take off and then domain expansion will that reach him is the question will that reach him can he do that yep he does lovely i didn't even know that i just want to try it out nice well the more you know guys so boom damage as much as possible and if you die it it doesn't really matter because you're just gonna because you're just gonna be able to come back and finish the job so boom but he does have an awakening which is very scary yep he just did it he just did it uh yeah his awakening is very scary guys i have to be honest it does hit like a truck so uh, bear that in mind as soon as this cracks open we're just gonna have to run Yep, yep, get off, get up, get up. Yep, run, just run. His awakening is so scary, dog. He is actually, bro. He starts to tweak out and shit, bro. I, I, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to uh, fight that. Bro, how am I supposed to guard that? Okay, thank God. Okay. Now I, I, I suppose we could just spam. Uh, at this point, when he starts to run back, you could just spam G and get your uh, mode back. So let's just spam G. Oh, wait. No, that's six size. Turn on your glasses. There we go. Thank you. And then another purple hollow. So we've used three purple hollows so far. Lovely. Boom. There we go. I don't even know how much damage. I think that was 2,000? Was it 2,000 damage? Wow. Why well, should be completely wrong? Anyways, another blue. Where is he? There he is. Okay, that was bad. Oh, Jesus. Just get away. Yep, thank you. Actually, come here, come here, come here, come here. Yep, there you go. He can't jump over that, can he? Oh, well, he can shoot. How am I supposed to guard that, gang? How am I supposed to guard that? I don't think you can block it, honestly. Just keep him off the goddamn... Uh-oh. Oh, I was just about to use my domain expansion. Damn, we got unlucky there. Hold on, let's go back. Let's go back. All right, let's finish the job, gang. Let's finish this job. All right. Oh, Jesus. See, brother, he hits like a... What? What? Wait. What is he doing? He's freaking out. All right, let's use that. And then let's do purple hollow. There we go. Thank you. Will this kill? Is this cannon? This is gonna be cat. Oh, it does nothing. I thought it would do way more damage. My bad. Uh oh. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Let's just let's just hope he doesn't do swift stab, so it doesn't become a cannon. Oh, I used the wrong one. Uh oh. Boom. There we go. Red. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's using the same tactics from JJK, dog. He's hiding in the forest. Like the fuck. Alright, let's finish the job. Oh, there we go. We just killed him. Oh, my inventory was at maximum. Oh, I didn't even realize that. But um, that being said, that's going to be my uh, my guide on how to beat him. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, if you have any further ideas or comments or like, watch out Ray Toji. Pause. I didn't mean that like that. But his moveset overall. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll make a full showcase on his kit. But that being said... I'm going to see you in the next one. And um, yeah, peace.